If you're like me, you're a consultant, but you're not in sales. And unfortunately, sales is part of growing and managing your consulting business. In order to do this, we need to understand some basics about the sales lifecycle. So that's what we're going to do right now. Step one is an introduction. It is a past manager, a friend, could be a cold introduction as well, but warm leads, whether you know them from the past or you got referred to them from a friend are always best. So you have your introduction. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set up a call. This is a get to know you call. This is not a sales call. Do not think of it like that. This is a, you're validating yourself with a quick verbal introduction of who you are and maybe one or two accomplishments in your career. And then you're learning more about this individual and their company. You're seeing what are their company challenges? What keeps this person up at night? Is there an area where you can add value to that company? That's what you're keeping in your mind, but you're not overtly pitching. You're simply asking questions. Be curious, dig into the company's problem, dig into what this person's individual problems are within the company sense. Just keep asking good questions. And by asking good questions, this can actually help validate you because you're asking questions in your area of expertise and they may even turn it around on you at one point when they don't know an answer and ask you, how would you think about that? Or wow, maybe you clearly know a lot about what you're talking about here. Maybe you can help us. So asking great questions can also be a form of validation. In doing a good job of asking these questions, take notes, you're learning what should go in that proposal. So that's step three, the proposal. After you have an intro call, maybe you need another one to get a little bit more clarification, learn a bit, a bit more about the company's challenges, then you can send over a proposal. Your proposal is, who am I? What are the company's challenges? And what can I deliver to you that's going to add value? Make this as tangible as possible. After you send over the proposal, you likely jump on another call to one, discuss the proposal, take any feedback, but at that point, if the proposal is in line with what they're expecting, you're really on to step four, which is the negotiation phase. Negotiation is all about coming to a solution that works for your needs as a consultant and their budget. Don't look at this as a back and forth and a competition. This is a team working together to get to a solution, build a connection with this client, understand where they're coming from, and you'll likely come to a solution that works for both of you. After you agreed upon a pricing structure that works for both of you, you're closing the deal, you're signing a contract. If you've done a good detailed job in your proposal, I recommend taking the information from your proposal, literally copy and pasting into exhibit A, it's usually at the end of the contract, and you're good to go there. Once you've done that, you're aligning expectations, which is really the, the main reason you sign a contract, and you're getting started. I'd also recommend taking, again, that proposal that you copy and pasted, putting it into a Google or Notion doc and sharing that with your client to say, hey, this is what we agreed upon. I'm going to update my status in this document. And then you can have a call with that client every week or two to update them, chat through any roadblocks, see if you're staying within scope, all that kind of stuff, all within the same document. That's the sales life cycle, sales life cycle. Hopefully this is helpful. Come check us out at mylands.co. We have tons of resources and an accelerator there to help upscale and professionalize your freelance business.